President Obama got a lot of help from women voters in 2008. He won 56% of the female vote, compared to John McCain's 43%. And many of those women, former Hillary Clinton supporters. But he may be losing those same supporters in 2012. On our panel this morning is Jamu Green, former advisor to Hillary Clinton and Fox News contributor, Lady Lynn Forrester de Rothschild, CEO of E.L. Rothschild. She was a supporter of Hillary Clinton, then became a McCain supporter in the election. And Sam Bennett, president and CEO of the Women's Campaign Forum. Welcome to all of you. Well, good morning. So you were all Hillary Clinton supporters. So I guess it's no surprise that you never really were crazy about Barack Obama. But you say that now you're feeling, what, disenchanted? Sam, let me start with you. You're, you're not happy with how he's treated women in the past two years? That's absolutely not correct. I mean, me. he, he did the Pay Equity Act right out of the box. Um, he updated the status of women, that report, the first time in 30 years. And bottom line, the far right have hurled such horrible legislation at women. I think the choice is very clear for women in the election season. It's either Obama or awfulness. And I don't think they're going to go anywhere near any of the Republican candidates. Okay, so you are pleased with some of the progress that he's made. Lynn, how are you feeling about how women have been treated over the past two years in this administration? I feel that the Democratic Party has no moral authority with women after what they did to Hillary. I mean, it, they threw Hillary Clinton under the bus, and no matter what they say, that's what they did. From Nancy Pelosi to um, Claire McCaskill to everybody, they threw her under the bus. So there's no moral authority in the Democratic Party, as far as I'm concerned, for women. But I don't think the election is going to be about the gender issue this time. It's going to be about the economy. And Barack Obama's handling of the economy has been very bad for, for working people. It's been very um, and harder bad for women, for, in and fact, harder for women. And I think that's going to be the issue, um, the economy and what has he done for jobs. It's a pretty horrible thing to have 16 million people unemployed, 25 million oh. people underemployed. That's a terrible place to be. And that is because there's not enough economic growth. Well, but the the yeah, stewardship but let, of the economy well, has been very bad. I, I, I okay, can't, so I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With all due respect, and I really love you, but I can't let that go. If we, he hadn't done the economic stimulus work that he did, we'd be in the Great Depression right now, not the Great Recession. And this was a horrible worldwide situation. But I'd love to hear what Jumu has yeah, to say Jim, before we dive in. Well, if you we want to run on the greatness of the Great Recession, <laughs> no, you can well, do that. Well, no, no, where are you with how she President she Obama has treated you? No, but and I'll let you guys okay. argue in a second. Yeah, I think, come on, like, you your I, I think no. I'm like the vast majority of former Hillary supporters that you know went to Obama after the primary and will continue to be with Obama through the 2012 election. I, I think it really boils down to looking back at the debate we saw a few days ago where they didn't even mention Thank the you. middle class. The term wasn't even on the table. Right. And yes, the economy is, the economy is absolutely going to be the number one issue. And, and working women look at the presidential candidates on the Republican side and see them not even talking about the middle class. That's going to be problematic for them. I, I do think the Obama administration is going to have to address what some have been calling the war on women in Please, the past you. year. Yes. And when it comes to reproductive rights, you know, the Ledbetter Act was the first bill he passed, but we still don't have paycheck fairness. That failed. We just saw the Walmart suit, you know, get, you know, Put and aside by the Supreme Court, it's, can it's I, not his fault. It's not his fault. Women are feeling attacked. Obama's going to have to address it Go to ahead. get them engaged this has and been excited. This a war on women by the far right unmitigated, unrelenting on a state level and federal level. There is no choice. You pick Obama or awfulness. And you know what? Sam, women that's don't. So no, I'm unfair sorry. Unfair and ridiculous. No, it's totally it's true. Obama women or awfulness. It is awfulness Lynn, for, women. for women. For women, absolutely. It's insane to say it is Obama or awfulness. For women, and that is absolutely. what is awful. That is just not true. And if you want it's to totally divide true. the country, maybe it's really better. A choice maybe it's better. There's no other choice. Talking particularly about for working women. There's no other choice. That's so. your thought. It's so ridiculous. First of all, first of all, to divide the way the two of you want to divide, and you want to take women and put a little noose around their neck, no, and you want people, no, you we want do people not. to talk no, about that. No, 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 no,